Welcome back to our videos on logistic regression. If you haven't looked at the first two videos, you should go back and do so. In the first video, we brought in the topic of logistic regression, and in the second video, we looked at creating the model in R. Now we'd like to look at how we can create confidence intervals using R for logistic regression. Now recall, our confidence interval formula is our point estimate plus or minus our margin of error, where our mar margin of error consists of Z star times our standard error. In this case, we're looking at our point estimate of beta hat 1 and the standard error of beta hat 1. Well, this is just beta hat 1 minus our margin of error and beta hat 1 plus our margin of error. Now, beta hat 1 and the standard error of beta hat 1 are both found in R. In order to create our confidence intervals, we need to then exponentiate both of these so we can get our confidence values. Now, let's take a look at what would happen when we do this in R. Now, again, if you haven't created uh, your R output for our sleep apnea data, you should go back to the previous model and do so, or previous video and do so. Now, remember we got our summary values for our YGLM, that was the GLM model for our sleep apnea data, and I want to pull the coefficients, and so I'm going to call this CoF2. And this will just pull apart the coefficients that I want. Now, when I run CoF2, notice I get my estimates, my standard errors, my Z values, and the probability of my Zs. So, I want to create my confidence intervals for my beta 1, my apnea dollar weight. And so I will run my YGLM low. This is the lower value of my confidence interval. And then YGLM high will be the upper value of my confidence interval. Now let's take a look at our values. Here we get a lower confidence interval value of negative 0.00127 and an upper value of 0 0.03136065. However, if you recall, we need to exponentiate these. And so we will exponentiate these values. And what we get are intervals of 0.9987262 to 1.031858. Now, this is what our confidence is going to be. Now, how confident did we want to be? Well, recall we were 99% confident. So our confidence statement is then going to be we are 99% confident that our slope is going to be between 0.9987262 and 1.031858. Now let's take a look at where our actual estimate lies. Well, it's at 1.01517. So this should take care of our confidence intervals. Next video, we will look at doing hypothesis tests. See you then.